everybody welcome back to majestic collectibles we've got uh, some pack openings here uh uh cam uh, kabawabi is uh with me say hi hello good job i got him trained well don't i uh picked up a, a couple of donruss football retail packs i think it was at target wasn't it mm -hmm. target and uh then i ordered a little while ago probably been a week i don't know they've been here a while i got the uh falcon and winter soldier probably a couple weeks uh, sealed hobby boxes from Upper Deck. Now, just a, a brief, uh, there's a lot of these hit the market. Uh, WandaVision's out. Spider-Verse. Spider-Verse. Well, the first Spider-Verse has been out for a while. Uh, but now they're back on the market. The price is really tumbling on these things. Um, I think part of the problem is it's Upper Deck. And it's really hard to get a set. The collation's terrible. I wish, uh, wish someday my dream is written house will take over the uh, the Marvel uh, trading card franchise. I think that would that would be uh, a big boost for it. Uh, so anyway, what do you want to do first? Which one? I'll let you pick. Let's start with Donruss. All right. Uh, okay. Pack battle thing, or what are we doing here? And let's see exclusive uh, press proof they're uh, blue parallels and that's for uh, on average four per pack and let's see 30 card value pack do you remember how much they were they're like 8.99 yeah they weren't super high if you guys watched the oh go ahead the score box opening i talked about uh getting a hobby box of these so we'll take a look i'm i still might go ahead oh uh, we're just starting off with jalen rager not in his Vikings uniform, tragically. Yeah, well, I don't know how long that's going to last either. A lot of this, I think, will just be like base stuff that will be similar to the other Panini products. Anthony Barr. Um, good looking cards, though. Yeah, they feel pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Nice UV coating on there. They're not quite as nice as like the optic ones or something. Well, no. Yeah, I think that's, that's a little higher end. Yeah. I think this but, is still kind of in their mid-range, you know, card line. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people are just looking for the inserts and stuff. Uh, so now we're kind of getting to that. Starting off we with got some rookies. Uh, rated rookie. Okay. Danny Gray, another rated rookie. Oh, this one's backwards. Hopefully that's a good sign. Oh, it is Ooh, a... Okay, yeah. so we got an Elite Series Derek Carr, Las Vegas Raiders. That's quite the foil on that. Um, oh, that must be the blue parallel. Press proof, um, yeah. Yeah. So, I doubt these are anything super fancy. Jermaine Johnson, Deion Jones. All right, so here, here's what I got. Uh, C.D. Lamb, all right. Anthony Barr, who plays for the Cowboys with C.D. Lamb. Dexter Lawrence. Uh, Mike Gusecki. Antonio Gibson. I'm trying to see if there's any... Well, Christian McCaffrey. I wish he was in the Niners yet. Ah, uh, Herbert. Okay. Evans, all right. So we got got a couple of guys. Clyde Edwards, Lair. So locally, that'll be all right. Uh, Young Hoku. Um, I don't know. I don't know what you do with kickers. Put them in your bike spokes, maybe. Charles Woodson. Man, they're still doing that veteran retired guy thing. I still think that's a cheap way to fill out a, a card set. Is using guys that aren't even playing anymore. Not that they weren't good players. Oh uh, well, that'd be nice if that was in purple and gold. Although that was kind of at the trade deadline. Yeah. Uh, Christian Kirksey, I think he, he played at Iowa, didn't he? Uh, I guess they're going to tell me in the back. But I'm pretty sure he was a linebacker for the Hawkeyes. A good tight end there. Trevor Lawrence, all right. He's going to have to kind of do a little better. There you go, Cam. That's a good name. Yeah, good. Named after you, no doubt. Okay. And your skills at, at uh, online gaming at Grandview. Ah, uh, Romeo Dobbs, let's see. I'm not, uh, I like the look. Oh, is that a, oh, it's a painted. Interesting. Yeah, I thought maybe that was a sketch card at first. It's a watercolor. Ah, uh, Eric Dickerson, boy, loved watching him play. I don't really want him in a new card set that bad, though. Garrett Wilson, so honestly, this, this doesn't, Tony Gonzalez, um, Boy, it doesn't look much different than the score really stuff as far as what's in there. Uh, go ahead and, and um, pop open Falcon and Winter Soldier. So maybe I'm not going to get a, a 
Donruss football hobby Honey box. 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 Yeah, because I, I, I like the scores. I thought we did well with some of the autographs and stuff. Did. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, maybe that'll be, you know, the hobby box will be better, but um, I think price-wise, they're just as good with the scores. I'm sure there's some really super high-end, uh, um, you know, well, I shouldn't say super high-end, but there's probably some better autographs maybe in the Donruss, not in the score. We got, like, Jalen Hurts and... Yeah, some Patriots QB that we got. Mac Jones. Mac Jones was in there. Yeah, I mean, there's there's some players. All right, so here's the display. So let's see. We got uh, six six cards a pack, fifteen packs a box. Uh, may contain time sensitive redemptions. Well, yeah, of course. Uh, Fourteen plus, which I I really don't know what was. I don't know. Didn't seem to be like a mature audience's deal. Why don't you go ahead and go pick right. yours first, and start we'll box. go from there. So we'll each well we'll have an odd number. So there's 15, so somebody will. Starting off. Now we'll give upper deck credit for uh, you know they usually put out a really good looking card. That's true. But uh, the odds of getting a set or an insert or a Ooh. good insert. Felonous measures. It's kind yeah, of odd, like this acetate. Follow. And then... Uh, Prism? Yeah. Oh, the corner's been on it. Did you see it? Oh, it is. Oh. Well, no, it's not. That's just part of the texture. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Man, it looks like that corner has been. I'm like, good grief. All right, let's see how bad I do. I know sometimes the pull rates for these boxes overall can be very nice. Oh, they're... So. Th they're they're terrible for upper deck. I mean, Rittenhouse, usually you get at least one full set, a lot of times two, and they they get everybody to autograph. And you got maybe not as good a chance to get the big stars, but it's a much better chance than you get with the upper deck mm -hmm. stuff. Um, you at least see them, I guess. It's kind of disappointing when you open a whole box and get nothing. Yeah, and uh, I think that's what's hurting the price, because I got these, I, I think this box was about 92, 93 bucks, is what I paid. Mm -hmm. And they've actually dropped seven dollars or eight dollars a box since then. Wow! So there's not a lot of people jumping on these. I think the speculation is is over is a big part of it. Plus, they came out what two years after the yeah. the show aired. That I know COVID and all that, but boy, that does not help. But when it's not fresh, same with the one division oh, set. And we got something fancy here. But we'll save that for last. So, and the fancy ones, you only get two cards usually, so there's this, and then we got a oh, film, film cell, so that's kind of cool. You received a trading card with a manufacturing film cell, enjoy your memorabilia reward, upper deck. So, that's kind of cool. Uh, yeah. I've never seen one of those. And that that is interesting, because it wasn't a, a movie. <laughs> <laughs> so... I, I don't know why they would. I know they must have been an original cell and then they digitize it, but that's interesting. That's a cool concept. Oh, yeah, and it's an old, you know, that's an old concept. They mm -hmm. used to have those. Star Wars, I think back in the 90s, had some sets that you could get a, a, a film cell in there. So let's see here again. I've seen some Star Wars stuff of similar, like variety out recently yeah and they're not uh that's a line star wars and star trek there's not getting a lot of love in too many of the markets especially the last three sequels oh and that uh i think that's uh parallel inserts we had that card i think in your first pack yeah on there well that's sure you're it is part of the art down there in the corner <laughs> it man look it, like it looks like it's yeah it's damaged uh, I don't know. I don't know if that was a bad proof edit, but I've seen a number of them that way, and I don't know. All I'm saying, it wouldn't be on Rittenhouse. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. I think the likelihood's gonna. Well, we'll see. I, I mean, upper deck. If they're, you know, if the prices keep dropping on the boxes like they have been, they're not going to keep the license very long. I don't think. Go Well, is, there, is that a parallel set, though? Um, I I'm think, guessing so. Yeah, so really the only insert insert has been the film strip. Yeah. We haven't really pulled, you know, and there's not a lot of packs in the hobby box. You're not expecting one per pack, but I don't know. Let's see what we end up with. I'll quit whining about upper deck for, well, I don't know, a couple of minutes anyway. There. Uh... 
Because what, what was it? Was it Ant-Man? We opened some of the Upper Deck Marvel, mm -hmm. and there's like no autograph. Oh, it was no, it wasn't the movie ones. It was those uh, comic ones. Yeah. I'm trying to remember what it was. Yeah, and there's a parallel insert. We Must be one per pack. But, best but, luck from the Ant-Man ones, I think. But we opened like uh, four or five boxes and never got one autograph out of any of them. They're all hobby boxes. The Spider-Man one, I opened once, and that was... Got no inserts in the whole hobby box. That was kind of tragic. Well, again, upper deck product. It's like parallel. Oh, another parallel. All right. All right, let's see what we got here. This is... Okay. Oh. And just another parallel. So still we're halfway through the box with one one insert. So we have actor autographs, technology cards, and original art sketch cards, and I I haven't seen any of them. I wonder how many of them are just like ones of ones though, you know? Well, yeah, but they can have a lot of one for ones, you know, on sketch cards, get a bunch of different guys. Oh, there's a red one. Maybe that's rarer than the blue. Yeah, I don't know. Could be. I suppose. I doubt any of it's really worth a ton. No, I don't think so either. I guess I really haven't gotten online and looked because we didn't know what we had for uh, for inserts or rares. But no, I don't think the the sets or singles are are worth hardly anything at all, if anything. On it, uh, U.S. agent. Mission briefing is that a? That could be a subset. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I guess it is. MB, MB two, and that's the other thing with upper deck. You know, kind of a, kind of a weak, lazy subset to, to do that. But they do that a lot. So what uh, they are good at. Yeah, let's see if we hit a something. I mean, I assume that film uh, sells got to be worth a little bit. I really don't know. Yeah, but still, if you get a ten dollar card in a ninety dollar box it'd be a little bit disappointing well and these things were like 150 60 plus when they first came out mm -hmm. so they have dropped a long ways a lot of the marvel uh, upper deck uh, sealed boxes have really come down oh, oh there's a purple, purple one parallel. purple and gold oh. so they got a purple and blue okay yeah oh this one's numbered what is it? Like a one out of so many, or? It is 65 out of 99. So, that must be like a, one of the rare parallels. Interesting. Which, again, I think is a lazy insert. Just coloring the same card, different colors. Oh, it's got a number on it. It's so different. That one is damaged. Look at the, I don't even see it. See the top edge right, right up there? Yeah, yeah. It's got like a, a big old divot in it. What what the heck upper deck? <laughs> I wonder how many upper deck cards have been graded ever. It can't be that many. Well, you know, I don't think there'd be some. Yeah, I mean, so you still want your product to be nice, value or not. Well, that one definitely wasn't one what worth sending one? in. What is this one? Oh, that's the museum when he was in the uh, museum in the show. All right, so I uh, all right, two packs left. Two so this packs this left. is my last one, and I uh, I ain't hit nothing. <laughs> I've been completely, yeah. So I don't know. It'd be nice to hit. I mean, I had the parallel stuff, but let's see. Let's see what we got here. So there we go. Okay, I'm running out of chances here real fast. Oh, now that. Uh, character profiles and there's just another blue parallel i assume that's another subset yeah p3 all right man What's your that? your only hope anthony macchiato right here okay cam camawabi obi one kenobi whatever your only hope what do we got what do we got so you hit the last pack of magic Ooh, not looking good 
Okay, yeah. so <laughs> so that's it. Uh, another pretty much. Um, I gotta tell you, dead box. I mean, these the you know fifteen dollars a pack. These are not uh, not it. These are not cheap, you know. Uh, and to really just pull a bunch of parallels and a couple of really weak subset cards. Uh, come on, man, up, up your game, up your game. You got the license, uh, you know. Put something of value in there. Oh, there it is. Collect manufactured film cells. Oh, so it's a made to be collectible. Yeah. I, that was my question before: is why did they have film? And they didn't, so they put it on film later. Okay, come on, man. That's uh, that's that's some that's some weak, weak, weak game there, man. That kung fu is not going to win anybody. Anyway, guys, I hope you have some fun, uh, some fun watching this. Uh, check out our other videos. Check out our podcast. And I'm guessing it might be a while before we <laughs> open any more of these. Uh, thanks for watching.